Good evening, good evening. Hi, George. Good evening, great to see you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you doing? Anna, good evening, how are you? Very good, teacher, thank you. How is your Tuesday, everything okay? Um, a little bit tired, but it's okay. A little bit tired, but fine. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Kind of busy. Kind of busy. Why? Why did you have a busy day? Did you have, have a lot a, of work? I have a kind of uh, a couple of meeting for oh. through the uh, the name of this platform is. Uh, I don't remember the name. The, oh. is the, the Google. Ah, oh, Google. Um, Google Meets. Meets. Meet. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, but I'm glad. I'm glad. Give me just a second. Let me activate my camera. Uh, Christia, good evening. Uh, Raquel, good evening. Great to see you, girls. Hello, hello. How you doing? Let me just try to get something working here. All right, there we go. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining. I'm super glad to see you here. So Wendy, good evening. Tatiana, good evening. Great to see you. Juan Carlos, hello, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Good evening. Mm, good evening. How are you? How is your day going? Everything good? Is everything OK? Everything OK, teacher. Okay, glad to hear you. Oh, glad to hear you, uh, Carlos. <laughs> okay, now I can hear your voice properly. And uh, so welcome, guys. Welcome to session number two. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time to join and to share with us for a couple of minutes. Um, yesterday, uh, we started and we were like checking some vocabulary related to personality. And I ask you to investigate a little bit, maybe not investigate, that wouldn't be the correct word, but probably just to think about the characteristics of a good boss. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, talk today, we're gonna take those words you got, you know, to talk a little bit about that in a couple of minutes. Um, I also have for uh, today some vocabulary related to your specific jobs, uh, to the things you do and vocabulary that you will be helping, you know, uh, in an um, probably a daily basis. So we're gonna work on that in a couple of seconds. I don't see, I don't oh. see your chair. Okay, my Your Okay, and uh, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, no problem. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Is Anna. That, that's phone? okay. Uh, Wendy? Yes. I, I'm so I sorry. Don't see, you mentioned? I don't see your chair. My chair? Yes. Uh, what do you mean? Um, screen. Do you don't see my camera? Uh, do you? Yes. Uh, I can uh, see you, teacher. You can see I me. Can see. Probably my internet is just loading, but my camera oh. is on, so hopefully okay. it is going to load. Uh, okay, okay, Christian, no problem. Thank you so much. Nelson, good evening, Nelson. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Silvia, hello. Tatiana, hello. Great to see you and thank you for the camera. Uh, Mario, thank you for joining as well. Okay, 
Okay, guys, let's get started here. Um, today, we're going to work a little bit with some vocabulary. So I have some questions for you guys. Um, and to get started, we are going to check uh, some things. Give me one sec. Okay, just a second. <coughs> Okay, yes, Mario? Yes. Is today one of the days? You mentioned yesterday. Yes, today and tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. So thank you so much. That's all right. So if you need to turn off your camera, that, that's okay. No okay, worries. They're okay. All right, guys. So I have some words for you. I'm going to be giving you a word, all right? And guys, I want you to try to give me um, the opposite, all right? I want you to try to give me the opposite word, uh, but that has, you know, if I tell you, for example, like tall, you have a short, right? If I tell you skinny, you have kind of plump, kind of fat. So I will give you a word and guys try to give me uh, the opposite, all right? The first word is alive. What Dead. do you think is the opposite? Okay, very good. Dead. Oh, that, that. That's fast. Okay, if I tell you bitter. Repeat, please. Yes, bitter. Sweet. Oh. Sweet, very oh. nice. Okay, thank you, Diana. Uh, Diana. Oh, well, I always say Diana. All right, thank you, Diana. <laughs> That's all right. If I tell you curly, what's the opposite? Sad. No. Curly, curly. No. It's our friend. Straight, yes, very good. That's a straight. Okay, if I tell you full, empty. empty, very nice. Mm -hmm. Empty. If I tell you uh, nice, bad, bad, yes, yes, that can bad. work. Yeah, but it can be unkind. Unkind, yes. We have nasty too. So we have a lot of words. Okay, very good. If I tell you heavy, what's the opposite? Light. Thin. Oh, very good. Light. Energetic. Mm. But, but heavy in the sense of, of weight, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, a table. A table can be heavy. So the opposite would be light. Already. What is the opposite of uh, let's check in here? Uh, in out. Oh, that is too easy, right? Okay, yeah. yes. So from in is out. Okay, very good. Now, what about the opposite of the opposite of male? What is the opposite of male? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. Female. Okay, that will be female. And what um, is the opposite yeah. of hard? Soft. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're doing fine. Okay, sounds great. Okay, okay. You rock it, guys. Very nice. You really good job with that. I'm going to bring more difficult words next time. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, so yesterday we were talking a little bit about like some characteristics that we have, right? Probably some things um, that you don't like about your personality and obviously some words that you would say, oh, I would like to be this way, right? I would like to change this. And we had this other question that was related to being a boss. Um, quick question, guys. Um, do you have subordinates? Is anybody here um, a manager, junior? Have you ever had subordinates? Yes, teacher. You do? OK. How many people are under your, uh, your responsibility? Mm, maybe a few years ago. Ah, OK. Uh, 40. Wow, that was a big number. Okay, so in, at the moment, you don't have subordinates. Maybe three. Okay, you got three. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, do you have any subordinate? Mm, in my case, only my boss and me. 
Wow, okay. that's super okay. <laughs> it's only your boss and you. Okay, okay, really nice. Uh, Nelson, do you do you have some subordinates? Uh, Sylvia, uh, Susanna, do you have some people under your responsibility, under your charge? Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. My my boss is a uh, is grab. Mm -hmm. But what about you? Do you have some subordinates? Maybe. Are you in charge of people, or not no. really? No. You don't have subordinates. Okay. 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 That's all right. Oh, interesting. So nobody here um is in a managing position. Okay. Very nice. But guys, we had this question that is related to bosses and I have uh, some questions for you. Give me one second. Okay, and I got a couple of questions for you. So number one says, is it easy or difficult to be a boss? Uh, probably you have had the opportunity to be a boss before. Probably not. But what is your opinion? Do you think it is easy or is it difficult to become a boss? Have you ever had subordinates? You already told me probably not. And do you consider um, if you had the opportunity to be a good boss, could you be a good boss? Would you be a toxic boss? What kind of boss would you be, right? Um, so let's go with this one. Let's go with the first. Guys, do you think it is easy or difficult to be a boss? We are not talking about the owner of a company. We are not talking about being a manager, but just having the responsibility of people under your charge. So is it easy or difficult and why? No, teacher, I think it's very difficult because for example, in my job, uh, we are many women and, mm -hmm. and everybody is different and everybody is with, um, a, how do you say, character? A personality. Yes, a personality. And I think work with women sometimes is very hard. Really? And oh, interesting. Okay. I see that in my job because uh, they are they they are not younger, but I don't know. I think it's very difficult. And I see my boss and he always trying to to talk with one of the, my co-workers and after mm -hmm. with another and, and they are something fighting and uh, it's, it's very difficult. And I see my boss and he is always stressful about that. Oh, OK. <laughs> wow. It's OK. It, it calls my attention, you know, this part, and I read it here because it really called my attention what you mentioned. So working with women is hard. Okay, okay, interesting. So for you, it's kind of difficult. Guys, what do you think about the first? Uh, or what do you think about Tatiana's statement that working with women can be hard sometimes? Do you uh, agree? Do you disagree with her? I consider, teacher, I agree with with her, with part oh of Oh my that. God, okay. <laughs> because uh, there are uh, advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, be between the disadvantages, you have a lot of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to, to, to pay and you have to, to be sure that you are paying that is correct. Mm -hmm, okay. And you are trying with a lot of people that has different personalities mm -hmm. and they have their own issues. Okay. But but in addition, okay. I think is I, I think is is good okay. because because you. You it's a challenge. Do, yes, you you can improve or prove your personality too. Okay. And, uh, sometimes the the work uh, may may feeling like special sometimes. 
Mm, okay, okay, really interesting. So, but it calls still, you know, it calls more my attention that you mentioned that you agree with her <laughs> that we working with women can be hard sometimes. Okay, okay, that sounds all right, guys. What would you say about it, uh, Silvia? What's what's your point of view on this? What do you think? Is it easy or difficult to have people under your responsibility? And do you think that working with women is uh, more difficult than working with men? Uh, in, my you... opinion, in my opinion, uh, depend. Mm -hmm. um, the support, um, the subordinate or the company have or the boss have, uh, mm -hmm. has, has, sorry. Okay. Has, the boss has uh, more people or more subordinate, mm -hmm. it's difficult. It's difficult, uh, but uh, a subordinate or two subordinate is um, is easy. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, uh, in your case, I guess it's a really big advantage because it is only your boss and you. So super yeah, nice. So <laughs> my boss explain explain the thing, and I. I make the thing all all the work mm -hmm. and it, no not problem. Okay, very nice because there is nobody else to blame, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay, super cool. Sounds right. All right, guys. Next question for the rest, guys. Um, number four. Are you a bossy person? Bossy refers to the people who likes to give orders to others, right? Probably in your house, probably at work, probably in the street, I don't know. Do you consider yourself a bossy person? Do you like to order people in your house? Do you like to give orders there? I mean, I think sometimes I'm really bossy. What about you guys? Are you bossy? Definitely. Me too. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, Jorge, you look like a very calm person, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know, thought you were kind of bossy. Yes, I'm kind of bossy sometimes. Um, okay. My my relatives told me. Oh, okay, <laughs> that you're kind of bossy. All right, Claudia, Diana, what about you girls? Are you bossy? Do you consider yourselves as bossy people? Yes, definitely. Because oh. when you're a mother, oh, you're mm -hmm. how to be bossy. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah. I mean, for example, if you're not in your house, but you're at work or you are with your friends, are you bossy too? With my friends, not too much, but my job, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we get that. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Anybody else? Uh, do you consider yourselves like a bossy people? teacher uh, yes. what's the meaning teacher bossy is that that you like to give orders when you give orders to people or you you know you have this kind of a boss boss like personality <laughs> so you can give orders to a lot of people uh, susana are you kind of bossy Yes, <laughs> in my in my house in my family, yes, but it's uh I have a order as I have personal streak, uh, specifically my my son, uh, mm -hmm. in my parents. Ah, okay. So with your family, <laughs> with your children only. Oh, uh -huh. okay. But okay. Um, in my in my work and my working, uh. No, no, but it's a. Uh, I have uh, two two personal uh, in my in my. How do you say the that? responsibility? Yes, under responsibility. under your charge or under your responsibility. Yes, but I in the moment uh, or in in situation uh, that is a. Uh, uh, it's a uh, hungry and but it's a. Uh, but it's a uh, the responsibility is uh in, in with my boss 
eh, eh, uno, ¿cómo es? How do you say? Uno tiene que dar la cara. Yes, I mean, you have to face all the okay. consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. No es a bossy, ¿cómo es? In normal, but pitching in situation, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We call it face. I mean, uh, face is this, but also face is the action. So when you have a problem, you have to put your beautiful face in front of the situation. So that is face. You have to face the situation. Okay, really nice. All right, guys, let's take a look at the two statements I have below and it says one, a complete number one, a good boss is. And number two, a bad boss is. Uh, guys, I'll give you two minutes. Okay, try to give a short definition of what you consider a good boss or a bad boss. I think about your own personal experience or your previous personal experience. So what is like the worst kind of a scenario you have faced? And if you're talking about a good boss, uh, we are not talking about your current company, right? I don't know if you are co-workers. <laughs> I don't know if you work together, guys. So it's just in, in general, right? So a good boss is or a bad boss is. Uh, so I'll give you two minutes. Let's go for it. Thirty seconds, guys. Are you ready, guys, or do you need more time? Ready, ready.
Okay, that means no. I'll give you one more minute. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and we are going to try to discuss and, of course, share some ideas about good, bad bosses. Um, everybody has a, had more than one boss, I believe, right? So we have worked in different places or probably just because of personal rotation, we have had different managers or people under or about us. So, but take a look at this one. Um, so a good boss is, what are some characteristics that you can give us about good bosses? Bad bosses, what are some characteristics that you consider that uh, someone must have in order to say, oh, that is a really bad boss or a really bad, a toxic boss, right? And the last question is something a little bit more personal. So what is the best or worst experience with a boss? Um, again, we are not talking about your current company. We are talking just in a very general way. Um, have you ever had, I guess everybody has had bad experiences. If you say no, I'm like, I would be, I don't know, in shock <laughs> because that is some, something super normal. So uh, let's gossip a little bit, right? Let's try to express your opinion, try to, uh, you know, work together on that. And guys, we are going to uh, help each other, right? Construct or build our explanation so we can give uh, more information. If there is a word that you don't know how to say, it's okay. We can always go to the dictionary, check it out. If somebody else uh, knows the word, please guys help each other. So I'm going to give you five minutes. We are going to join the groups um, and let's try to answer these questions. A good boss is, a bad boss is, and what is the best or the worst experience with any kind of boss, all right? So guys, we have five minutes. Please join the groups, talk about it, gossip a little bit in English, all right? And then we come back. So five minutes, guys. Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. It's only five minutes.
All right, guys, thank you so much for coming back. So we were talking a little bit about your previous experiences uh, with good bosses, bad bosses, uh, toxic bosses and everything. And I just came to these two words that I wanted to mention. So the first one is lead, right? Maybe you have heard the word leader. Uh, so leader is a person, right, who leads. But we have the word lead, right? That is kind of guide. So a good boss has to lead, right? Has to guide people. The other word that I came across was gossip. Uh, if you are not familiar with the, go with the word gossip, right? It's like add extra information gossip, or yeah. add extra info to something. Yeah, so I tell Jorge, hey Jorge, your hair looks nice. Ah, no, but the gossip is, guys, the teacher was, you know, um, I don't know, complimenting Jorge. Probably she likes him. That is a gossip. You included more information you add and you modify what people say. Thanks so we add extra information uh -huh, and it's not real. All right. So what are good characteristics for bosses, guys? Give me some. Give me some words. Whatever you remember. Responsible. Oh, okay, responsible. But responsible in what sense? Oh, remember that is like the way you look at the person, right? The way you look at the boss. Give the good example. Give okay. a good example. Okay. A good example. Recognize efforts. Okay, it's a good example to others. Uh, recognizes, uh, recognize effort, okay. Any other word? Anything else that comes to your mind? Uh, honesty. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, did you say? Honesty. Oh, okay. Honesty it's honest. Person. Okay. For a boss, it's a, okay. I prefer a dishonest boss. <laughs> okay, so honest boss, all right. What else? Uh, when, when. employees. Listen, okay, listen to the employee, all right, very nice. Mm -hmm. So listen when, to others. When he or, he or she give good guidance. Okay, uh, maybe it's clear with the instructions. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so probably a person that can be good with the instructions, all right. What about a bad boss? What do you consider bad? Why would you say, ah, oh, this person is bad? This is a bad boss. I don't like my boss. Uh, it's a It is a? I'm sorry, I missed that word. Despot. Ah, okay. He's a despot. Let me see if we can use. Let me just make sure we can use the word. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure. I have never used it. Mm, okay. Oh, I normally don't use a word. Okay, interesting. And now you will give me the definition for that too. <laughs> okay. What else, guys? What is uh, What are some characteristics of bad bosses? Doesn't listen the employees. Okay. Does not listen. All right. Or ignore, so we can have here ignored people. Arrogant. Arrogant, okay. Has favorites. Bad tempered. Oh, has favorites, yes. Bad tempered, okay. Disrespectful. Disrespectful, okay. Disrespectful. Disorganized. Disorganized, yes. Poor communication. Okay, so it's not clear, so for communication. And I'm going to include one more word that is a uh, harasser. I don't know if you are familiar with this one. So harasser is a person, not only a boss, but a person that takes advantage of his position, right? Especially to get favors from women or from men. So a harasser, if you are a woman, uh, you can harass men, that is the most common. Or the opposite. If you are a man and you like a girl, so uh, and you're like, oh, can you stay longer? 
can you go with me to a dinner? So that becomes a harasse, right? So I would say that is also very common in our workplaces. In, in so, Spanish, what is the meaning, teacher? In Spanish, we use the word acoso. So that would be a harasser, un acosador, right? Um, in like for both men or women, harasser. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Okay, very nice, guys. Really, really good. So um, we are going to talk about good and bad bosses in a moment, but I have a video for you. Um, for uh, because of the YouTube regulations, I am not able to show this video over here, but what we are going to do so we can practice a little bit of listening is the following. I'm going to share with you uh, one uh, mm, little link right here. I'm going to ask you guys to go to the group uh, to listen to the video in group, all right? Uh, listen to the definition, listen to new vocabulary, you can play subtitles and everything and get some ideas. The name of the video is called, give me one second, uh, characteristics of a toxic boss. <laughs> I think that you are familiar with toxic bosses, all right? So um, let's watch this video, all right, in groups, try to get some characteristics. And when you come back, you're going to give us some. Um, give me a moment. No, 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 no. Why? Wait a second. Okay. So I think that you are familiar with how to share a screen, right? So if somebody is in the computer, you can share your screen, you can share your audio, and so everybody can listen and you can discuss it. Uh, guys, please, let's go to the groups. We have, it's a short video. So we have seven minutes to go watch it and come back, right? And share your ideas about this video. So let's go, please. Let's go, let's go. Uh, so get the link, please. Oh, let me see if I can do this. No. No. No.
Um, welcome back, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you were able to check the video to listen to a couple of things. Um, so what do you think about this video? Um, do you agree with it? So what are some characteristics you heard about toxic bosses? <laughs> was, the difficult, was the video difficult to get, guys? Or did you get it smoothly? It was easy to understand. We saw the video two times, teacher, because some words I couldn't understand. And I think uh, my partners maybe uh, too was was the same situation. Okay, so some words were kind of new. All right, good. Um, so, but uh, okay, so let's get started with that. What words were kind of new? Did you take notes of new vocabulary? Did you take notes of new words you heard? Uh, teacher, I I learned the the word that I was uh, saying about fair person. Mm -hmm. uh, the opposite is unfairly. So mm -hmm. for me, that is that was a, a, a new word, and I learned that. Okay, so fair and unfair, okay, or unfairly, all right. Did you get any other word, guys? Any word you didn't know how to say in the description? No, oh, probably that's the only one, okay. If that is the case, that's so amazing. All right, so what are some characteristic guys of fair and unfair bosses? Or good and toxic bosses? In the video, you could hear the word favorite, right? So sometimes bosses tend to have favorite people, right? Uh, they favor them a lot. So I think that that is one of the most important characteristics of a toxic boss. Anything else? Uh, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Susanna. Go ahead. Okay. The first characteristic is uh, micromanaging. Mm -hmm. Micromanaging? Okay. What is micromanaging? What does it refer to? Uh, when the person uh, or the boss is uh, only see the employees. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so micromanaging, they only see employees. Okay, okay, okay. Boss try to control everything that the employee could be. They try to control everything. Okay, okay. What else? They are, they are never wrong. They are mistakes. They never accept mistakes. They are never wrong. Okay. Have you ever had a boss like this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of scared, you know, yes, well, <laughs> okay, I would say in general, they don't trust, they don't trust your abilities, they don't trust employees, right? It's like they are never wrong, as you said. Okay, what else? Any other characteristic? So micromanaging, what else? What else? What else? Any other? The other things that we said that they are disrespectful. Okay. They are disrespectful with employees. Okay. Disrespectful. All Taking right. credit for work. Mm, okay. Take credit. Exactly. Somebody was saying before, it's important that, um, that bosses, they value your effort. But yeah, they take credit. What else? They don't recognize their knowledge of the employee. Mm, okay. And so, mm -hmm. so uh, no knowledge. No knowledge. Okay. They don't recognize, uh, or there is a word that is acknowledge. So, acknowledge is when you say, ah, oh, okay, I accept what you know, right? I know that you're good. So they don't acknowledge what employees know. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Or they don't, don't recognize other people's knowledge. Anything else, guys? They, 
they don't accept their mis their mistakes. Mm -hmm. They don't accept mistakes. Okay. That's right. And uh, teacher, they yes. they create uh, they create uh, problems in the with the team members. Mm, okay. Yeah, they they can cause some issues between team members. Okay. Okay. Do we have anything else? No, that would be it. Okay, okay, very nice. I think that we already have like an idea. You already mentioned some characteristics and in the video you kind of confirm, right? What this was about, very nice. Okay, guys, now take a look at the following uh, conversation we have in your material in page number nine. And let's take a look if this is or this is not a toxic boss. So this conversation is between Robert and Tom, right? Um, so Robert is kind of the manager and we have uh, Tom there. So give me one second. Let me try to make this a little bigger so you don't have to make a big effort reading it. Um, still, you have this in your material. So if you have issues looking at this, you can open up your material. Let me have some big teams here. I haven't heard a, uh, Sylvia, I'm sorry, I haven't heard you much. I wanna listen to your voice. <laughs> so Sylvia, help me with Robert, please. And Norma, uh, help me with Tom, please. Just uh, reading this conversation. So Sylvia with Robert and Norma with Tom, please. Okay. I had uh, to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new chains, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan Furniture Store. Unbelievable. I, unbelievable. Teacher, I don't. Yes, I don't yes, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Things that are too expensive. I evaluate our COVID plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sales assistants so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that I throw, I would make our sales go. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you get the, the motor. The mo the mm -hmm. motor Tom. Okay, thank you so much. So we have this word that is the most important word I would say here that is the motor. I don't know if this happens in companies, guys. You tell me uh, about tell me your experience. Um, can you get demoted in a company? Uh, if you are a manager, can you go down? Can you become an employee or can you become a normal uh, co-worker? So can you get the motor in El Salvador? No, uh, the no, law right? doesn't admit it, no. Uh, you, in you have to be fired. You have to be fired, okay. So this the motor, okay, it's like, okay, I'm, um, for example, I'm a president. So the motor means I'm going to become a vice president or I'm going, I'm going to become a manager. So you go down in the organization uh, of the company. So super weird. All right, guys, let's take a look at some words here um, that are um, necessary to understand this and are kind of tricky at the moment of pronouncing. So guys, repeat with me. Unbelievable. 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 Like believe, believe, unbelievable. 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 Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable, uh -huh. like something that you do, do not believe. Next one, we have change, but this change. is plural. Change, 
Changes. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh huh. So change. Oh, there are some changes. So changes. Uh, all right. Changes. We got the plural there. Uh, what else do we see here? Oh, um, we are going to practice a little bit of intonation. So intonation, guys, is not pronunciation exactly, but is uh, the rhythm, right? The way we sound. So take a look at a couple of words. Before I forget, we have the word down, like an A, so down. Down again, down again, down. all right? Down. So that is a super common word. Now, we are going to work a little with fluency here. Uh, fluency, guys, is related to linking sounds. So, for example, here, down and again, we are going to put the sounds together. So, I hate to tell you this term, but our sales were down again, down again. We put them together. They were down, down again. So, down, down again, down again. Don't down. split the sounds, put them together. They were down again. Um, and then the next person says, down again. Down so again. Down again. Uh -huh. We don't split them, we don't separate them. Down again. again. Mm -hmm. We have other words. For example, this one, at our, we don't split it. So people are shopping at our, at our, at our. Guys, repeat with me, at our. At our. At our, at our. all right. Our. Try to put them together. Next, and here we have a lot. At so our. when you have a consonant sound and a vowel sound, we always do the same. So we do it here. Uh, I'll evaluate tower. I'll evaluate tower. So try to put it together. I'll evaluate our current plan. I'll evaluate our current plan. I'll evaluate our current plan. For example, here we have monitor hour. So monitor hour, monitor hour. Put it together. Try to put it together. Um, what else? So that happens in all the scenarios where you see this. Like here, is a mess, is a mess. So you don't gonna say is a mess, is a mess, right? It's a mess. Mm -hmm. Same here, go up, go up, go up. So we just put the sums together. So guys, we are going to work a little bit with this uh, at the moment, but I forgot one more word. Give me a second. Oh, this one. Because we are expressing uh, like, oh, I'm sorry. So we are going to put a little bit of emotion, all right? So that means we are going to change a little bit this. So when you are sorry, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. So there is something in English that we call a stress, all right? A stress means select one word and make it a strong, super strong. Uh, because in Spanish, for some reason, we sound like a robot, right? And we're like, hi, good, uh, hi, good evening, everybody. My name is Julie. So we sound like this, but English is more like this. So let's try to do it. Let's try to work a little bit with that part. Uh, for example, um, take a look in the first one. I hate to tell you this term, and the most important word probably is down again. So I hate to tell you this term, but our sales were down again. I make it super, super big and super strong. Uh, yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition. So uh, we are just, you know, making super strong some words that we consider important. Unbelievable, things were too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan. And then we go and we select one or two words that you consider important. So our voice and the way we sound can be a little bit different. So that is considered a, the, the rhythm, right? Or the uh, fluency and intonation that we can use in English. So guys, we are going to practice this conversation. We are going to have only five minutes to uh, practice it, right? Remember, we have changes, unbelievable, current so that's another word that is really useful so we have this word current 
So I'll evaluate our current plan. Current. Current is like present plan, right? Um, guys, uh, this is in page number nine of your material. If you don't have it ready, you can take a screenshot, you can take a picture, whatever you prefer. Uh, just practice it, but super important, guys. Um, imagine that you are having this as a conversation. So don't read it for yourself, but read it for other people. Try to change your voice a little bit. And uh, very important, um, I'm going to say this in Spanish. Guys, eh, intentemos cambiar, modular un poquito el ritmo de nuestra voz. So uh, select one word that you consider important, make it higher, bigger, longer, and that is going to change the way we speak. That is going to change the intonation that we used to speak. So let's work a little bit with that. We are going to do it in pairs only. So give me a moment. Let's see if I can make it there. Okay, okay. So page number nine, go only practice the conversation so you can get it uh, super smooth, super fluent, super nice, super clear, and five minutes to do that, guys. Let's go to the pairs, please. Let's go Teacher. and practice in pairs. Yes, Susana. Teacher, may, may uh, learn, near, learn near the conversation all, please. Mm, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry. But it's a, a listening, the uh, intonation is a, is a pronunciation. Do you want me to complete, read it? Yes, it for me. Oh, is, absolutely. Is sure, uh -huh. no problem. I can do that. Uh, so give me one second. Let me just move it up a little bit. Um, okay, so absolutely. It says, Robert. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things are, they are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistants so they do a better job. That may help. Yes. I wanted to talk to you about that. Our current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or I'll get the moratorium or you'll get the moratorium, sorry. That's you'll get the moratorium. So um, pretty much intonation guys is yes, you will read it the same way, but just change, make a little longer put a little bit of emotion and that is going to be it. That is a big, big change at the moment that we're, we are speaking. So let's try to go to the groups, guys. Let's try to join it, practice it. Uh, if there is a word you don't get, remember we have translators, we have dictionaries, you can listen to the pronunciation and that is going to help a lot. So let's join the groups.
All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. So we were practice the practicing this conversation a little bit. Um, I believe that uh, most had some difficulties with the same words. Just give me a second. Um, let me make sure everybody's back. Hold on. Oh, they are still right there. Okay. Okay, give me 10 seconds. Everybody will be back. So, but I guess we got the word unbelievable. Give me a sec. Okay, so and Yes, everybody's back. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. So with one of the groups, we were checking this word because we found it kind of difficult. So one of the things that work a lot with pronunciation is right the way you listen to it, exactly the way you listen to it, so later you can repeat it. For example, this word sounds like unbelievable. Unbelievable. So uh, one of the easiest ways to pronounce uh, things later is to write a pronunciation. If I read it like this, oh my God, I'm going to get into trouble. But if I write it like this, ah, oh, I can go unbelievable, unbelievable. So it is easier later to pronounce things, right? So we have unbelievable. Uh, oh, we have this other word that um, one group was having right right there that is down down something like this if you remember the reggaeton song that we heard a couple of years ago down so it's like down right uh ooh, oh something like that okay so for you to pronounce it what else guys what was the other word i don't remember there was another word i think i heard did you have campaign. difficulties campaign okay so we got that one that is, I hear the word like campaign. So I'm going to read it. I'm going to pronounce it just this way, campaign. Wait, it got under that one. Okay, guys, can I have two, let me select two victims <laughs> uh, just to read this little conversation. So I haven't heard Mr. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you, Jorge. Thank you so much. Oh, Jorge, select another person. Select your victim, please, to read the conversation. The victim is Diana. <laughs> okay. Okay, very nice. Uh, so Jorge. Was... Revenge for yesterday. <laughs> really? Did you select him yesterday? I don't remember. Okay. So Jorge, do you want to be Robert or Tom? Robert is okay. Robert. Okay. Cool. So, Diana, that means that you'll be Tom. Okay. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our Sagan's food store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistant so they do a better job. That might help. Yes, I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it will make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month, or you'll get demoted, Tom. Oh, all right. Thank you so much, guys. That sounds really nice. Okay. Even with the Tom <laughs> and Robert and everything. Very good job. All right, guys. Oh, we are just about to finish, uh, but I don't want to uh, leave, guys, without completing something here. Give me one second. Um, I had some vocabulary for you uh because we were checking yesterday a couple of words and i know that every job you uh, develop or you carry it out has a specific vocabulary so we are going to work on the following 
Here we have what words are related to your job and what do these words mean? Um, I have here some vocabulary related to accountants, human resources, and I have also related to law and a couple of more general expressions. But the homework assignment, guys, is going to be this. What other words are important in your workplace? Um, everybody does a different job. So uh, for tomorrow, guys, I want you to bring, or I want you to share, not bring, but share uh, five words related to your everyday job, let's say. So because everybody performs a different job here. Uh, we have the word here, lead, for example, profit, payroll, that I guess everybody's familiar with payroll, attorney, lawsuit, a void that is related to finance and money, strategy, guarantee, and gossip. That is something we talked today about. So, um, for example, we have the word leader. So a leader leads, right? Profit, guys, uh, are you familiar with these words? Are you familiar with profit, payroll, attorney, lawsuit? Attorney and lawsuit, I don't know what is the meaning. A payroll and profit, yes. Yes. Oh, okay, very nice. So attorney, I think Sylvia is here, right? Sylvia, where are you? He's like a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So an attorney is like a lawyer. Uh, they perform very similar characteristics. And a lawsuit, right, is related to lawyers too. But I think everybody, uh, you know, refers to a lawsuit. If you work in a company, and you don't do what you are supposed to do, then you can sue the company. So if you sue the company, that, then you start a lawsuit. Imagine, for example, your company fires you and you uh, say, no, this is unfair. I, um, I don't agree, right? With the severance payment, with the payment you're giving me. So mm -hmm. you start a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. So. We have a couple of words here, void, strategy, guarantee, and gossip. We will check on them tomorrow. But additionally, guys, uh, can you think of three, five more words related to your job? Um, so things that you do every day, so we can also share new vocabulary. And we know a lot about the activities you do as well. Um, uh, um, so give me just a moment, guys, before you leave. I'm going to just take your attendance. I'm going to take a picture super quick uh, as your attendance. Hi, Mario. Good evening. Christia, hello. Great to see you. Uh, I hello. saw Mario too. So Mario. Hello, hello. Good evening. Yeah. Hi, Mario. Hi, Mario. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Villeda, what's your second name? Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario Ernesto and Mario Jose. Okay. So I got Mario okay. Ernesto, Mario Jose, Mario Valle. Oh, Mario. Oh, your last names are super similar. So we get them by Okay. Oh my God. All right. I think I got it. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I already take your picture. So um, guys, we are going to get started with the um, with the one-on-one -on -one sessions we normally have. Uh, so Nelson, I appreciate if you can stay some minutes with me. The rest of you guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being here. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night Enjoy tomorrow. it, guys. Bye-bye. See you. Tomorrow. Sleep well, guys. Thanks. Just, Nelson, give me some minutes, please. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you, see you. Hello. Yo. Me toca a mí mi, mi diez minu mi diez minutos. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, vamos okay. a trabajar a little bit. Okay, eh, vamos a intentar trabajar un poquito de um, pronunciación, if that is okay with okay. you, right? Mm -hmm. And para que vayamos trabajando también vocabulario, pronunciation. Vamos a trabajar okay. las conversaciones. Let's work on the conversations. Deme un segundo. Ok. Just give me a second. Give me a second. 
Ok, uh, so iniciamos a trabajar esa conversación, pero no la pudimos terminar por tiempo. But I think we no, can okay. work both ways. Mm -hmm. So, eh, solamente le tengo una, una, quizás una recomendación, no sé si le vaya a funcionar, hopefully yes. Eh, ¿Tiene material impreso? No, lo tiene digital. Mm, digital. Ok, so en este caso eh, le recomendaría que si hay palabras nuevas, escriba las palabras en su cuaderno y hagamos okay. el mismo ejercicio, que escribamos la pronunciación de las palabras para que luego se le haga más fácil, right? So it can be a little easier. So, por ejemplo, esta palabra era an be li ba boy. Ok, para que sea más fácil. Pero no. Exacto, ahora que usted la lee es como, ay, qué fácil, Ajá. Right? Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, lo que hacemos con inglés es eso. No lee la palabra que está acá, sino recuerde cómo se pronunciaba y repítala. Vaya, uh -huh. eh, Robert, comenzamos con usted si quiere. Let's start with you. Usted va a ser Robert y yo voy a ser Tom. Ah, ok. Eh, me vas a quedar para te callar porque... No, no se preocupe. De hecho, de eso se trata, ¿verdad? Right? Que sí. vayamos mejorando, que practiquemos un poco, eh, que si hay un error de pronunciación lo corrijamos y pues mejor hacerlo ahorita, ¿verdad? Right? Better do sí, it now. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Para no, luego que sea más fácil. Realmente gracias por la atención porque yo <ríe> me cuesta. No, de okay. eso se trata, Nelson. En lo que pueda, okay. vamos a ayudarle. Uh -huh. Ok, I have, I have to tell you this, Tom. Okay. But I shall uh, wear down, down again last month. Ok, Ve, vamos eh, despacio, lea conmigo. I okay. hate. I hate. Pero con, con ganas. I hate. I hate. 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 Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. Porque es odiar. Okay. Hate. I hate. I hate. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Right. So, I hate to tell you this, Tom. I hate to tell you this, Tom. But ourselves. But ourselves. Were down again last month. We're down again last month. Okay, again. Again. Uh, again. Down again. Again last month. Muy bien, otra vez, léamelo todo. Read the whole thing. I Desde hate, el inicio. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hate to tell I you this song. I hate to tell hate, you. Hate, hate, I hate, I hate. Hate, hate. Uh, Ah, uh, I hate uh -huh. to tell you this song, mm -hmm. but I shall wear down against last month. Okay, very nice. Much better. Sounds really good. Again. Again. Yes. Um, es importante que, que, no, que no le agreguemos sonidos porque en inglés hay muchas palabras que se parecen, right? Entonces sí. tenemos la palabra again, que significa otra vez, y tenemos la palabra against, que es ah. en contra. Entonces si usted me le agrega un sonido más, ya me cambió el significado. Mm -hmm, that's why. So again es otra okay. vez, and against es en contra. Mm -hmm. Vamos con la siguiente. Ah. So, down again, Robert. Down again, Nelson. Down again, Robert. Uh -huh. eh, esa es mi parte. Sigamos ah, con sorry, Robert. Sorry, 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 <laughs> down again, again, Nelson. Uh -huh. Yes, even after in even, implementing. Even. even. Yes, even. Uh -huh. After implement, implementing. Implementing. Implementing the new changes, people people are shopping. Has our competition sign is a final store. Okay, very nice. Vale, leámoslo junto. Even after implementing the new changes, even if implementing the new changes, 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 changes. Changes. Yes. Even after changes. implementing the new changes. Even, even if, perdón, perdón, ahí, even. After. Even after implementing the new changes. 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 Yes. Uh, so remember, palabras nuevas, váyalas escribiendo. 
Changes. Sí, todas las palabras que son nuevas. Escríbelo. Ah, changes. Mm -hmm. Yes. El after, solo cuidadito con el after, porque es una Ch F. Yo le escucho after. Quítemele la S y agréguemele la F. After. Even, after. Af even after. Even, even, even. Cierre aquí. los labios. After. After. Yo le estoy after. escuchando after. Le estoy escuchando una S. Entonces, as, ahora cierre un poco los labios y pronuncie after. After. Ah, yes. Con F. Con F. Claro, after. con F. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Vaya, vamos otra vez. Let's do it one more time. Ok. Yes, Evan. Perdón. Evan. Yes, Evan. Uh -huh. After yes. implementing the new changes. Yes, yes, very nice. Good. Yeah. Continue. After, uh -huh. after. 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 Recuerde que es una F. Ajá, es una F. As, after. Cierren ah, los labios, ah, lo, lo acabo de hacer súper bien. <ríe> yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces, people are shopping, have uh -huh. our a competition. Uh -huh. Competi competitor Competi o com competition. Competition. Uh -huh. Chinese, uh, furniture. Furniture store. Yes. Um, no sé si le escuché bien esta siguiente palabra que es el verbo. Creo que le escuché otra cosa. ¿Cómo pronuncia esto? How do you pronounce this? ¿Cuál? I'm sorry. La, la que le acabo de escribir en rojo. Ve mi pantalla. Abro. Ok, vaya, pronunciémoslo ar. Ar, ah, uh -huh. ar. Vaya, uh, léame desde people, porfa. Read from people. People are shopping. Uh -huh. yes. Ahora. Competition. Yes, very nice. Very, very nice. Competition sounds. Uh, furniture. Furniture store. store. Yes, very store. good. Good, ah, good, good. Okay. Vaya, sigamos. Um, no, le da usted la siguiente. <laughs> read, <laughs> read the following. Esa es suya, that's yours. De eh, Tatón. The Unbelievable. Ah, ok. Unbelievable things there are to expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll evaluate. Al, al. 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 Al evaluate. Al evaluate. Al, al y enrolle la lengua hacia arriba. Al. Al. Mm -hmm. Al evaluate. Al evaluate. Mm -hmm. Al evaluate. Or evaluate. Plan. I'll evaluate. I'll evaluate. Our. 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 Mm -hmm. Our current. Mm -hmm. Play. Implement. A new. Advertising. Uh-huh. Campaign. Campaign. And. Monitor. Our. Front. Cell. Assistance. Uh -huh. Assistance. Assistance. Mm -hmm. So they uh, do a better, a better job. Job. Job, a better job. Mm -hmm. that, that may help? Yes, very good. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I am sorry to hear mm -hmm. that uh, okay. about in a world may our salary go up. Mm -hmm. eh, uh, sorry, es, hágamelo más fuerte. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Cierren un poquito los I'm, labios. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Exacto, hágamelo uh, fuerte. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Hear, hear. I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry to hear that. 
that. Uh -huh. Very good. Good, oh, good, good. Okay, nice. Okay. Sounds really good. Different. Super diferente. Okay, so le tengo una pequeña tarea, Nelson, para el día de mañana. Pero okay. la tarea no es nada complicada. Esta misma conversación, lo mismo que hemos practicado, el again, el unbelievable, el and sorry. Quiero que se grabe. Okay. En su teléfono, eh, como cuando manda un, una nota de voz, right? O le pide ayuda a alguien. Grábese leyendo la conversación. Si es necesario 10, 20 veces, 30 veces, practícala mucho, right? Revisa el sonido de again, again. Repítalo okay. individualmente. Even, even, changes, even. new changes, the new changes. Porque entre más lo repita, se vuelve más fácil. Mire la diferencia de cómo lo leyó primero a cinco minutos después. Usted puede hacerlo súper bien. You can do it nicely. Solo es cuestión que practiquemos la, eh, la okay. pronunciación, right? So, eh, grábese y cuando ya lo tenga listo, me lo manda al grupo o me lo manda a mí, como usted prefiera. Whatever you prefer, all right? So, okay. gracias eh, por el tiempo, Nelson, y me manda mañana no, el audio, oiga. Ok, Send no, gracias a usted. Ya sabe, okay. para eso estamos. Thank you, have a good Thank night. You. I have a nice night. Bye-bye.